Here's our list of the top 10 most anticipated films of the 2014 Cannes Film Festival. Number 10, Still the Water, written and directed by Naomi Kawasi. Kawasi previously directed Suzaku and the Morning Forest. We're itching to see her style and skill set brought to another cultural tell. Number 9, The Rover, written and directed by David McCod. McCod's feature-length debut, Animal Kingdom, was a breath of fresh air, and the rover looks to keep things that way. In this western set in a future down under, a loner tracks the gang who stole his car from a desolate town in the Australian outback. Robert Pattinson, Guy Pearce, and Scoot McNary are all great faces to fit the desolate backdrop. Number 8, The Search, written and directed by Michael Hazanavicious. Hazana Vicious won Best Director and Best Picture Oscars for 2011's The Artist. The wickedly talented Berenice Bejo plays an NGO employee who forms a special relationship with a young boy in war-torn Chechnya. Annette Bening co-stars in this modern retelling of the 1948 Fred Zinnemann film of the same name. Number 7. The Salvation, written and directed by Christian Levering. In 1870s America, a peaceful American settler kills his family's murderer, which unleashes the fury of a notorious gang leader. Mads Mikkelsen, Eva Green, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and Jonathan Price star in Danish filmmaker Christian Levering's stab at an American Western. Number 6, Lost River, written and directed by Ryan Gosling. Christina Hendricks plays a single mother whose son discovers an underwater utopia. Considering Gosling's maturation as a filmmaker and citing master David Lynch as a direct influence, we're ready to float down Lost River. Number 5, Leviathan, written and directed by Andrei Sviagenstev. A present-day social drama spanning multiple characters about the human insecurity in a new country, which gradually unwinds to a mythological scale concerning the human condition on Earth entirely. Sviagenstev has been on our radar since his masterful debut, The Return, back in 2003. Number 4, Coming Home, directed by Zhang Yimou. The story of a Chinese man who is forced into marriage and flees to America, but when he returns home is sent to a labor camp. Li Gang and Chen Daoming star in this heavy period piece. Number 3, Winter Sleep, written and directed by Nuri Bilga Jalan. Jalan's previous film, Once Upon a Time in Anatolia, won the Grand Jury Prize at Cannes in 2011. Plot details for Winter Sleep are a tad scarce. We're trusting Jalan and his past collaborators on this one, which happens to be the longest film in competition this year at 3 hours and 16 minutes. Number 2, Foxcatcher, directed by Bennett Miller. Miller, of Capote and Moneyball fame, has a recognized gift for bringing true stories of misunderstood men to the big screen. Next in line is paranoid schizophrenic John Dupont, whose life collided with the Olympic wrestling duo The Schultz Brothers. It's Steve Carell and the role of Dupont that has piqued our interest ever since the film was first revealed, and we look forward to him acting opposite Channing Tatum and Mark Ruffalo. Number 1, The Homesman, written and directed by Tommy Lee Jones. With the Holmesmen, he plays a claim jumper opposite a pioneer woman played by Hilary Swank, who team up to escort three mentally insane women from Nebraska to Iowa. We've never seen a road trip movie like this before. After seeing the trailer for the Holmesmen, we found ourselves wishing that Tommy Lee Jones would just make westerns for the rest of his career. Those are our top 10 most anticipated films for the 2014 Cannes Film Festival. Keep a tab open on the Movie Clips Film Festival channel for trailers, clips, and more. And as always, thanks for watching.